Good morning, mates, from beautiful Tasmania. That's right, Tasmania. Every time I say that, I have to, I have to mentally pinch myself. Am I really in Tasmania? And as I was walking up the street to, to get ready to do this video, I found myself thinking that as I've traveled the world, you, you, you go to places like Tasmania, and inevitably, you're going to come across special little places that you never heard about, and 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 experience things that you never would have imagined, you know, and 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 do things that uh, you can hardly believe you're doing. But then, when you're prepping, when you're getting ready to do a trip, like I've done here for Tasmania, you start to read up about a little bit about the country or the the state, rather, the area that you're going to. And Tasmania was no different. And one of the spots that I just put a big pin on the map was where I'm standing right now, and that is Richmond. Richmond, Australia. And if you search for, for images of Australia, don't be surprised if you don't come across some images of Richmond. And it's a beautiful town, about 30 minutes, 30 minutes northeast, I believe, of Hobart. And I've been here the better part of the morning doing some drone photography. And I'm going to walk down the main street. I'm going to walk down Bridge Street. And I'm going to bring you along. And there's probably a good reason it's called Bridge Street. And that's because this town, Richmond, is home to an iconic bridge. It's a bridge. It's the oldest bridge in all of Australia. And Australia is a big, pretty big place. And this bridge was built by convicts, I think, back in 18... 36. So what I'm going to do is what I love to do, and that is walk and talk and bring you along. And as I as I start to do my walk and talk, I'll turn this camera around a little bit and show you, show you the view of the beautiful countryside. Look at this. And it says this, this is the crossing place, Richmond, Australia. Although times have changed, the surviving buildings in Richmond and your imagination can make the past come alive. The following incidents could even involve one of your ancestors. Can you imagine? So they go on to tell you all types of interesting items here about the uh, the area. And I won't read all of them. You can read up on the history. But it is really, really a beautiful, beautiful spot. And look at that. Look at that countryside. Just gorgeous. All the way up here from Hobart, there was nothing but beautiful wineries and uh, just one beautiful scene after another. So let's go check out Richmond. This is probably as good as any spot. This is as good as any spot to start the tour down Bridge Street in Richmond. Richmond Cottages. And the uh, sign says that they've been providing accommodation since 1835. There is absolutely no shortage of history in this town. Look at this building here. And I'm not gonna try to tell you all the history. I rather just like to walk and talk, and if you're so inclined, you can go and look up the history yourself. But uh, look at this building here. This is, one of the, this is one of the iconic buildings here in Richmond. And it is on the corner of Blair Street on the corner of Blair Street it's called the Bellevue house you're looking at this right here it's called the Bellevue house here in uh, here in Richmond and that that house has uh, quite a bit of history and then right across the street you have the Oak Lodge so I'll give you a view here of the Bellevue house from this angle it's rather windy today it's actually quite windy, which doesn't doesn't really surprise me. It's been windy uh, more days than not since I've been here, and this is the uh, this would be the Oak Lodge right here. Look at this. This is quite a quite a famous building in and by itself. You can go online and take a look and read up a little bit about it. But that is the the Oak Lodge right there. All right, so we'll continue on down the street. Look at, they even have the picket fence. Speaking of the unexpected, I think this wouldn't really be much of an exception. This is the Puseum here in uh, Richmond. And as the name would imply, it is a, uh, well, I guess it's a museum of poo. You see, look at all that. They've got uh, 
Oh, they've got all types of poo here. Yeah. <laughs> here is here is Pooby Doo right here. Look at there's uh there's Pooby Doo. Whoever whoever Pooby Doo was. But uh this is the the Puseum. Education about defecation, science and all its scatological splendor. So if you're in if you're in Richmond and uh, poo is your thing, you know, this is the place that you would really want to go. This would be one of another... This would be another one of the historic buildings as you're coming into Richmond. On the side of the building it says Star and Garter. And it is a uh, rather beautiful building. I'd walk on the sidewalk, but I want to give you a little bit of a, a view from the, from the street. Look at this. You can look this up, but it looks like they have some antique stores in here and what have you. But that is the uh, Star, and, Star and Garter building here as you come into, as you come into Richmond. Quite a beautiful building. Probably not much different than what it was oh, a century and a half ago. And with that, I'm just coming in to the to the main part of town here. And there's a little cafe just up on the right, which is another historic building called the Ashmore, where I had myself a little bit of a little bit of coffee and a and a little sandwich and it's a absolutely wonderful place if you happen to find yourself in Richmond and you're looking for a, a bite to eat that right there is the Ashmore and if I'm not mistaken that was built by an ex-convict as a as a store the Ashmore on Bridge Street look at that quite a beautiful building and just right across, actually right across the street from the Ashmore on Bridge Street is another quite popular destination. This is a Triple Tourism Award winning attraction. This right here is Old Hobart Town, Historic Model Village, Tasmania's original and Richmond's most famous outdoor model village. And for the sake of for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to go in. You can actually go on their website and they have some nice footage of the of the attractions in there. But what a beautiful little town. This is the uh, this is the woodcraft shop and look at the little look at the little dowels in the window. See that? I don't know that you, I don't know that you would necessarily see those in the uh, in the states but uh isn't that something and here you've got a here you've got a pinocchio look at look at pinocchio there oh that's wonderful you see there's there's pinocchio boy what a nice place this is wow and the smell the smell inside here is just really really fantastic Wow. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well. I'm what about you? I'm wonderful. What a beautiful place you have. And where are you from? I'm from Florida. Uh-huh. I'm from Florida. Have you ever been to Florida? No, I've no? never been to the States except Hawaii. Ah, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. Yes, I've seen Thank it on you. the TV often. Wow. But I'll just let you know that we do post to the States, so if there's anything okay. you love. You do post to the States. You have a website? Yes, but it doesn't change. And it, the reason it doesn't change uh -huh. is because Tinder changes every time you get a delivery. I see. Mm -hmm. Alright, so look at that. Wow. Right. There's one on this side. Look at this place here. Is this something? Now here. Look at these dolls here. Nice place. Okay, you get yourself a nice walking stick if you're so inclined. Fantastic. Boy, what a special place. All right, so we'll go and uh, 
find our way back out to the back out to the main street. But what a nice spot this is. A lot of aboriginal work here. Wow. Boy, there's just no shortage of spots to stop and shop and what have you. And just across the street, they've got the the Christmas, I think, the Christmas store. Let's see. Look at this building here. It's the Christmas store. Yeah. Here's your nutcracker standing guard out front. Wonderful. Ooh, look at this place. I actually thought it was a thought it was a Christmas store, but actually it's a <laughs> seems to be a woman's woman's clothing. All right, now here's a guy. You see, you hear of the the men that kind of sit outside waiting for the woman to do the shopping, and here is this beautiful dog here. All right. Boy, what a beautiful little town this is. Look at that. All right, on with the tour. Does that hotel look beautiful? Look at that. You are looking at the Best Regional Hotel 2018. Enjoy country hospitality and food. Boy, that looks like a beautiful hotel. And I would imagine come, uh, come evening time when they light up the lights that you probably are gonna see really something special. Oh, that looks like a beautiful spot as I try to find my way across the street. There's no shortage of traffic. This may be a small town, but there certainly is quite a bit of, quite a bit of traffic. Look at this hotel. Wow, that is really, really beautiful. Devonshire tea, freshly made scones served with jam and cream with your choice of tea or coffee. It's called the Richmond Arms Hotel. Isn't that gorgeous? Really something beautiful. Here's another little special place. This is the Tasmanian Lavender Company. Port Arthur and, and Richmond. And I just poked my head inside the door and they've got everything imaginable lavender. So those of you out there that are big fans of lavender, this would be the place to stop here in uh, in Richmond. And look over here you have Waddle Banks, cafe functions, catering and, and weddings right here. This looks like a old fashioned place and they've got and Waddle Banks catering. I, I can smell the, the fish and chips. But look at this place here. Very nice. And it actually is rather cool today. It is, it's summertime, just coming into summertime, but you wouldn't know it. Maybe it's just very, very typical of, uh, and it's just typical of this time of the year, I'm, I'm sure, here for Tasmania. Here's a view looking up Bridge Street from which I just have walked down. And you can see the hotel up there. And here's a little shop here called Unique. E-W-E. -E, unique. Hedge Cottage. Look at that. Browser's welcome. See something different. And uh, I wonder what they mean by see something different maybe i can step inside and share that with you see something different don't be shy come in and explore wow. oh, these beautiful oh i like just kind of Sticking my head in here and look at the puppets. I've yet to see a platypus. 
on my travels. Okay, no shortage of socks. Your view, socks are your things. Australia is your place. All right, so let's uh, step on back outside. If only to show you a little, little greenery here in uh, Richmond. There's a, a park just, just along the way on the corner of Franklin Street and, and Bridge Street. A couple young guys enjoying a, enjoying an ice cream on this beautiful day. I'm almost down to the to the end and just up ahead I believe is the Richmond Richmond jail and I was educated yesterday to the British spelling of the word jail which is G-O-A G-A-O-L uh, and I don't know if this might this might actually be the it, it perhaps. Let's uh, take a look. 1908, this building here was built. Look at that. And just across from this building is the, the Richmond Bakery. Boy, if these streets, if these streets, if this pavement could could talk. I'm sure that they could tell some really, really interesting stories. Here's a nice shot of the inside of the courtyard of the Richmond Bakery. You can see there's quite a few folks out having a having a nice uh, bite to eat. A little bit of little bit of coffee. Wonderful. And then just across the way, actually is the Richmond Richmond Jail and let's see if I can't go and share some of that with you a little bit limited on time as I'm as I'm filming this it is about midday on a Sunday and I'm hoping to do the 30 minute drive back up to, to Hobart about mid-afternoon but look at this welcome to Richmond Goal historic site you can see the spelling there g-a-o-l richmond jail is how they is how they pronounce it i'll go see if i can stick my head inside and this would be the richmond jail every move you made someone was watching that's how it was in governor george arthur's convict system if you were a convict in tasmania between 1825 and 1853 every detail of your life was recorded your tattoos scars color of eyes hair height and weight as well as your sentence conduct punishments and assignment all written by hand in arthur's black books wow richmond jail 1825 look at this it's still in its original condition the narration is saying as i'm stepping on inside wow look at this isn't this something wow look at that incredible and then just inside here you have the the gift shop notice the ticket of leave men up on the wall it says little souvenir wow fantastic Hi. hello how are you good thank you really something in all honesty what walk and talk would be complete without a church a cathedral this would be uh, st. Luke's and 1836 this beautiful church was built and this is one of two that I'm aware of really historic churches here in this beautiful town of South Tasmania look at this look at that tower Wow, 
that really is something and every time I see a church like this I can't help but to think of the wonderful novel by Ken Follett called the pillars of the earth which is the story of the of a building of a of a cathedral now that actually says 1834 on it which might have been where the uh, cornerstone was laid 1834 but look at that view straight up of this magnificent church now the other church in town that I'll be sharing with you is the Catholic Church and that Catholic Church is actually the oldest in all of Australia and when I told my beautiful mom that I was going to go and visit the oldest Catholic Church her being a Catholic I thought she'd appreciate it the first question out of her mouth was am I going to step inside which uh, probably a logical question for any mother to ask a son out traveling the world I would imagine but look at this so I'm giving you the the 360 tour of this beautiful church and unfortunately the church is closed or I would give you a nice view of the inside but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around the side here and give you a full full tour of the perimeter of the of the church look at that all right let's go see if we can't find a let's go see if we can't find another church here in Richmond I have the tendency when I'm doing my walk and talks to focus primarily on the commercial buildings and in doing so I failed to show you some of the beautiful homes such as you see right here and for three dollars a bag you can get some some lemon <laughs> lemons oh look at that beautiful home all right on with the tour well look what i found tasmanian gingerbread in the cottage on the green and that's where i found my way is onto the green handmade award-winning wow no shortage of ducks here in uh, this beautiful little town. And look, here you've got the entrance, but you're being greeted by two gingerbread, gingerbread men. Isn't that something? All right. Wow. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. You mind if I share your special place with the world? Uh, my boss doesn't really love photos in no? here because okay. it's her, um, bit of a competition. But I yeah. see. Okay. Oh, no cameras or phones. Okay. Well, my apology. That's okay. All right, folks. So I wish I could have shared more of it with you, but really beautiful. Then they have the polka dot studio right off to the left. And there it is. There's your, there's your Tasmanian gingerbread, right there. And just down from the gingerbread, you have the rear of the of the jail. Oh, it's a beautiful little town, no doubt about it. It's really a pretty little town. And there's steps that probably go down to the river, but I've got more Main Street to share with you. Boy, if this isn't a view to die for. I saw a little sign that said this is a good spot for a for a photo and no doubt this is the countryside surrounding Richmond look at this oh it's a beautiful beautiful day just gorgeous and those stairs are just right over there that'll take you down take you down to the river and off to the off to the bridge as you can see i opted to take you down the path to the river that will lead us to the the richmond bridge and then i can come back up come back up the part of main street that i didn't share with you but it'd be nice to give you a view as if you were 
just here on a Sunday afternoon, just like myself, walking and uh, look at the ducks. You can see. Look at that. Wonderful. And here's a here's another duck. And uh, I don't know if this is the ugly duckling or not, but look at this one. All right, who am I to call? Who am I to call a duck ugly? Now look at this. Look at this view. For the last 200 years, people have been walking down this path, this very path. To see this bridge look at that oh that's beautiful I've seen that in no shortage of images online and uh, now to be standing here in front of it sharing this with you is just fantastic look at that all right Go see if we can't get a closer view of the bridge. Look at that view. Oh, it's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And I will take you for a walk right underneath the path and share a view of the underneath of the bridge and a close up of the of the stonework but there it is look at that Richmond Bridge Tasmania quite a sight to behold Wow look at this stonework you come out on the other side. Look at that. Quite iconic. Australia's oldest bridge. Right there. 19, or 1823, the sign says. Wow. All right, on with the tour. All right, just up from the bridge, I find my way to the other end of, find my way to the other end of Bridge Street, going back up, and it'll give me an opportunity to share the, share the rest of this beautiful little town. I'm sure there's no shortage of nooks and crannies here in Richmond that I probably could have shared with you as well but hopefully I did a good enough job of sharing with you enough to give you an idea as to how special of a place this really is. Really, really something beautiful. And here would be the, the Richmond Courthouse, 1825. Look at that. All right. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this walk and talk of this really special little town in southern Tasmania. And I'm sure it won't be the last special little town that I share with you as I travel my way up the east coast and into the heart of Tasmania and on, on to the west. So have a uh, have a uh, have a great great day